About a year ago, AI videos looked like this. <laughs> oh, that's hot. Terrifying. Absolutely horrifying. I know, but what is even more scary to me is what AI videos look like now. I want you to pretend that you're like scrolling past this footage quickly on your phone. Or just pretend like you didn't know this entire video was generated by AI. Would you have noticed it? Sure, I primed you into knowing that this was an AI video, so of course you're gonna notice some things off about it. Like, you might have noticed that his head movement is a little awkward, or that the book grows like an extra page. But would a normal, unassuming person notice this? I don't think so. Although on a technical standpoint, it's actually quite amazing that AI has progressed this far in one year. It is also really scary because this AI footage is almost on the same level as professional videographers. And this is all coming from Sora. And no, I don't mean that Sora. Sadly, Sora is a text to video AI model that can create these crazy shots basically out of thin air with something just as little as a text prompt. And I call this footage scary because I legitimately think that this could result in media industry job loss in the future. And I say that as somebody who is a freelance video editor and somebody who has worked in the film industry to some extent or another in the past seven years. Like, look at this video of AI drone footage over the coast of Italy. Like, this is almost comparable to actual drone footage that you'd have to pay videographers for. Even even if these videos aren't perfect, they honestly are good enough to get the point across to the viewer. This could easily be used as like B-roll in a YouTube video. So why would anybody pay a videographer for the footage when they can just easily get AI to do it? So to me, therein lies the problem with AI. This can definitely result in job loss. Now, personally, I was curious when the first AI inventions first came out. I figured, you know, let's just see where it goes. Maybe it could result in something good. But recently, I personally have come down hard on AI as something that is not good and could progressively get worse. Here's the thing. I think AI can be incredibly helpful if used the right way. But also incredibly detrimental if used the wrong way. Let me give you an example. Often when I make YouTube shorts or TikToks, I have to put subtitles at the bottom of the video, according to what the person is saying. Now, I remember like about four-ish years ago, I had to manually type out every single word, and that wasn't fun. <laughs> But about three-ish years ago, Premiere Pro got a feature that can listen to the audio and automatically generate subtitles. And guys, I cannot tell you how much of a time saver that is. That one AI feature made my job so much easier. So I think AI was incredibly helpful in that situation. Sure, it wasn't perfect and I still had to go back and check for spelling errors, check for grammatical errors and stuff like that. And also on top of it, it wasn't like I just pressed one button and the entire video was edited. No, I still had tons of work that I had to do on the video. So now that you know that all of those subtitles that you see on YouTube Shorts are AI generated. I hope you see my point. I see AI as being good when it helps the creator make their job easier, not when it could potentially replace the creator. And that's what I seriously think this AI footage could do to videographers. And Lord knows that AI will just eventually creep up on my video editing someday. Like, I don't know this for sure, but I believe they're already working on technology that cuts out all of the pauses and all of the ums in editing a video, that will cut down time massively for video editing. And like I said earlier, these AI videos aren't perfect. Let's look at some more. Some of them are still really rough. Like, take a look at this one, for example. A lot of stuff is moving in reverse for no reason. The blanket is moving on its own. The cat's hands, like, move unnaturally. And the girl's nose looks weird and is incredibly red compared to the rest of her skin for some reason. I don't know like is she sick or something and I watched Z girl Brownlee's video on this topic where he said something that was quite profound to me and he said that this is the worst these AI videos are going to look 
they're only going to get better from here. He's right, and that's crazy to think about. AI has been a huge debate topic recently, especially in the art community, for example, due to AI being able to create some pretty decent art on command. And a lot of people make and sell AI art and call themselves artists. And there's also the ethical part to all of this. These AI programs analyze thousands of images of art without the artist's consent and end up making art that is honestly close to just straight up stealing. And because these art generators use copyrighted art, unlike where I believe music generators use non-copyrighted music to teach their AI systems to make music, for obvious reasons, I think that's a little bit better, for example, because you aren't just straight up stealing somebody's art. Now, I could dive much deeper into the topic of AI art, but I'm going to leave that for potentially a separate video. But all I'll say is that, in my opinion, I don't think AI artists are artists. To me, they're as much artists as, like, a customer at a restaurant is, like, a chef. Like, you order food and eat it, and then you're like, oh, I don't really like this taste, and you send it back to the chef. He remakes it again, and then comes out with food that you actually like. And then the customer calls themselves the chef. Although I will say that I don't think AI artists are artists, but I do kind of think that AI art is still considered to be art. Moving on from that, I still think AI needs to be regulated heavily right now, because potentially it could could get out of control. And I don't mean in like a Terminator kind of way. I mean in a way that it could damage creative industries because that is what's going to be replaced first. The jobs that society deems as pointless, like artists, filmmakers, musicians, basically anything creative. Because sure, Technically, humanity doesn't need art to survive, which is why I still think artistic careers today are seen as disposable. And man, I bet this is why they get paid like sh- But that doesn't mean art isn't valuable. And in my opinion, it makes life worth living. Like, what's the point of working in an office all day when I can't come home and watch every season of The Office all over again? And also the thing is, I think Congress is way too incompetent to properly regulate AI. I'm not even sure if they can fully grasp what AI art even is. The average age of Congress is about 58 years old, with most of them being in their like 60s. And another reason why they really need to regulate it is because can you imagine the fake videos that people can make about, say, politicians, for example. I saw it clear as Mama Christmas. You set the card down and didn't say it. Draw four, cracker. Do you even know what that means? AI videos combined with, like, AI sound or something can lead to a lot of disinformation. People can probably make pretty convincing videos of our politicians saying some crazy sh**. Like, people can make videos of, like, Trump admitting that he wants to be a dictator. Uh, he says, you're not going to be a dictator, are you? I said, no, no, no. Other than day one. Oh, wait. Or make convincing videos of Biden being senile. The beer brewed here. <laughs> it is used to make the brew beer. <laughs> it's the final. Oh, Earth Rider, thanks for the Great Lakes. Oh, wait. But can you just imagine in a criminal trial, somebody tries to present video evidence that was just made by AI. So I hope I got across that this AI technology can do a lot of damage to the entertainment job market. But it could also lead people to believing all sorts of dangerous misinformation. And once again... I am not entirely against AI. I think it could provide a lot of benefits if regulated well. But the problem is, is that I don't trust our legislators to regulate it well. And I don't see AI replacing people like tomorrow or something. I mostly foresee this as a problem a couple years down the line, potentially, at the earliest. But still, the fact that this footage is this convincing, it worries me. Honestly, guys, I'd like to hear what you have to say. Is AI good? Is it bad? Would you give your firstborn child to it? I'm open to hearing all sorts of opinions. Anyway, make sure you automate liking this video. And remember that Al- Be back.